title implies. But let me at least rewind it for you for a bit. Remember when you were young, your parents always told you, don't touch a dog if you're not familiar with it because the dog will bite you? Sort of like that. And that actually happened to me a bit when I was about three or four. I mean, all I know is there was a little scar on my... Which, it's not even there anymore, but still, it's a little nip, but... But you get the idea. Don't touch a dog if you're not familiar with it. Well, this time it's just the fact that me and Hubby were at the dump. Like our obligatory trip to the Goodwill outlet, which is what we call a dump. And you get a bunch of... I mean, not really... Okay, you get interesting people. Very interesting people. Some that can't understand what the hell you're saying. Others who don't understand orders. And then there are those who just won't, just don't understand to give you space. And before I forget, I love the beverage. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. I almost went up the other way. <laughs> but no. Here it was. I mean, we were picking up some things. I mean, sadly, no fans. I mean, I really wanted to have a shiny, happy people type day. But it was also it kind of got started off on the wrong foot when the folks downstairs decided to have a barbecue on my fucking back porch. So, yeah, you know where, how that goes. I mean, I could tell, tell the landlord, but I don't know if there's anything you can do about it because the rent is so cheap. But we're not going to go on that right now. We decided to go to the dump. And we found a few things, nothing entirely major. I mean, a couple stereo amps and whatnot. And one of them was this. This is one of them Bluetooth amps that is supposed to resemble one of them vintage shelf units and whatnot. I think the West Live did a video on this some years ago. I'm not sure. But that's not the point. The point is, I'm trying this out. You know, plugging it, making sure it lights up and everything. And then this dude, this weirdo, it's all coming out buddy buddy and it's like touching my shoulders like hey what's that man and touching my things it's like nope first off nope no touchy no touchy because first off you don't know me secondly do you know if I had my shots <laughs> thirdly I hate people and fourthly only my husband can touch me only my family can touch me best friends and, like, if Emerson Collier or Tour of the Family came up to me and was like, Hey, Esky, what's up? See, that's it. But we're at the dump. I'm trying to test the stereo amp. Not happening. But I thought, I thought it was the end of it for now. And everything. And then, once again, we go to another aisle that was about ready to get closed. So they, they were changing, they were closing aisles and getting merchandise out faster. I know it was for Monday. But the thing is, you came up again, wanted to know what the hell the amp that I, I found, the heavy found, it was a Sherwood, for those that are wondering. And he's all looking at things and touching and touching me, and I'm even politely telling him, back off. Back the off. I don't know you, I don't like you, and I don't know where you've been. And it slowly got to the point where my husband almost went pop a bear. And, uh, and, you have, and you have not seen him go Papa Bear. Oh, man. I think it's worse than Mama Bear. So, yeah. So we pretty much said, hell with this. Don't care what's coming up next. Let's get the fuck out of here. And we ended up checking out and everything. Getting the stuff. Loading the car. I got in. I said, I need a strong drink. I mean, I was about ready to go to the next quick, next quick mark to get one of them little shooters. And for those who are wondering, there's like liquor in a little shooter bottle. You can find them at the quick stops. And it's probably legal. But I didn't get it, and I didn't drink it because, well, I'm just driving. And still not sure about the drunk driving laws in Nebraska. But if Tennessee's found that bad, they'd be on my ass. But since I don't live in Tennessee anymore, whatever. But point is, if you don't know anybody... Just politely come up to them and go, hi. Don't don't go all, hey, like all of a sudden it's like a friend from high school. And whatever friends I had in high school I had left have either moved away, got arrested, went in jail, or died. Which weren't a whole lot because I had no had very little friends. I was an outcast back in the day. 
it's too much. But I am who I am. I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with my husband. And hopefully I can be happy with this. Even though it's upside down. But you get the idea. I mean, the CD player does work and everything. It does have a remote. Which it had the back input jacks. Because I hate the front input jacks. But I'll work with that. I will work with that. I mean, this will be in a future video. But my point is... Don't come up to a dog and be like, Puppy! Because the puppy may end up biting your hand off. You know, by the hand that feeds you. <laughs> and then all of a sudden the puppy ends up getting euthanized and... Well, I don't want to talk about that, but the point is... Don't fucking touch me. Unless you know me, don't touch me. Or in the way of Cusco, no touchy! No touchy! Don't touch! Oh, it's been six minutes, okay. So I guess I better end this because it's really going to start dragging on and then it'll make no sense. So until next time, whatever it is, I'm going to see you. Thanks for watching. Come on, it's open!